TVS. If you never heard about this brand, maybe this is the right time to check it out. It produces 3 million bikes a year. And it is the third largest manufacturer in India. This means they make more bikes than some very well known Japanese manufacturers. But now TVS is trying to conquer a new audience. And so they took their new TVS thrown into several great custom builders and asked them to customize it as they wanted to. The end results are three completely different approaches. No one can stay indifferent to. Welcome to Racer TV. Unlike the usual, today, you are going to see three completely different projects, using different styles, but based on the same motorcycle. Which means the donor bike is perfectly suited for customization. So, let's start with the Cafe Racer style. What an astonishing project. Isn't it? Especially when we see this transition. It looks like it lost a ton of weight. This beautiful machine was built by Vijay Singh and his team from Rajputana Customs, located in India. If you think this work is impressive, just wait until you hear in how much time this spike was built. 8 days. Yes. It sounds crazy. And this includes one day for planning, and one day for assembly and test riding. This is definitely not an easy project. You can easily see there are a lot of changes. To get this light and clean appearance, it needed to have a new subframe. But notice the elegant and organic shape of the tubes. The fuel tank and rear cowl were handmade from aluminium sheet, maintaining a raw appearance and without any finishes. The new front forks are shorter, just to achieve the ideal stance. There is no information about the triple trees and the headlight bracket. But it seems they are custom made. And they look absolutely awesome. Even the swing arm was custom made, to allow a wider tire to be fit. I am only referring the most evident modifications. But I think it is enough, to show you the huge amount of changes, that were made on this stunning project. I have to highlight the shape of the fuel tank, which is one of my favorite items of this bike. It is very rare to find such beautiful lines, on a fully custom made fuel tank. Everything, seems to have been very well thought. I really believe the Rajputana customs team, has a unique talent to create cafe racers. To know this, we only need to look at some of its older projects. As you see, their work never disappoints. And this custom TVS, is just one more confirmation of that. It might be based on a motorcycle, with only 225 cubic centimeters, and 20 horsepower. But, as many of us learned when we were younger, it is fun, to ride a slow bike fast, and know that we are pushing it, to the limit. Let's now go see the second project. It is completely different from the previous one. To be more precise, it's also completely different from the style of projects, 
I usually show on this channel. This one was defined as being a custom beach scrambler. Despite being far from my personal motorcycle style, I can't help but to like this project. It just looks so cool. This is the work of the smoked garage located in Indonesia. I see this bike as a breath of fresh air in the world of customizations. The overall approach is certainly unlike any other. Something next to an out of the box idea, although close to the scrambler style. Naturally, many changes were made to reach this point. The stock TVS Ronin comes with 17 inch wheels. But on this one, they are very different in width and diameter. In order to fit the chunky rear tire, the smoked garage team had to create a new and extended swing arm. And to keep things even cleaner, they also developed an horizontal suspension system. The beautiful and organic fuel tank is a custom made cover. But notice how it beautifully flows through the rear. It is so clean and professional, it looks like something that came directly from the factory. The carbon fiber wheel covers are also a very nice touch. The stock headlamp and speedometer were maintained, which is a good and wise decision. They just added this very nice custom made protection on the headlight and moved the speedometer to the left side in order to achieve a cleaner look. Another very interesting thing is the exhaust system. Yes, if it looks invisible, that is because it is supposed to be invisible. The exhaust is hidden under this perforated plate. The smoked garage team was very clever with this choice. This not only hides the exhaust system, but also protects the engine from stones and it helps in giving some extra volume to the engine. This is really a very nice machine. And I bet it is a lot of fun to ride on dirt roads. But now, let's see the third project. Of all three bikes, this is the one which is going to look apparently less modified. But like I said, only apparently. This time, TVS went to Europe and chose a very known builder who already created some unforgettable and spectacular projects. And I am very glad to have shown a few in the past. I am talking about Jens von Brauch, owner of JVB Moto, located in Germany. His inspiration for this project came from a motorcycle trip that he did in India a few years ago. And so he decided to make this TVS Ronin a perfect motorcycle for the toughest roads and the roughest traffic. For the aesthetics, he went for the cool minimalist look and the custom appeal. Essentially, Jens created the bike that he would like to ride in India with. The fuel tank may look like the factory original, but it isn't. To reduce weight, he built an entire new carbon and Kevlar tank. And it now looks like a perfect classic scrambler item. The entire frame looks like it only had some minor changes. But Jens made it to look super clean, with this thin seat, and this cohesive rear end. The headlight section, is also very nice, maintaining the TVS signature. And to make it look even bolder, a set of carbon fiber covers for the wheels. Essentially, I think Jens von Brauch, really nailed it on this approach. In fact, 
All three projects are really very good. The TVS Motor Company was very insightful in commissioning these projects and showing to what extent the new Ronin model can go. The big question is, are they considering to sell this bike in other countries? Something tells me, they might be thinking about it. In the meantime, I am sure these three beautiful projects will be very useful for you, in your continuous quest, for inspiration. Thank you, for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you on the next video.